the LA Angels are finally exiting what was an ugly home stand against the Red Sox and San Francois Giants. After going 1-5 to the Angels will look to reverse their fortunes with this successful road trip. The first stop a series against World Series Shoms Houston Astros. The LA Angels have the opportunity to jump ahead of the Houston Astros in the standings with a successful series against the defending World Series Shoms. Except it won't be an easy task at all, facing the Houston Astros on their own home turf. More from Halo Hangout Probable Pitches Monday, 4.23, 5.10 p.m. Pacific Time, Taylor Skaggs 2-1, 3.98 era versus Jarrett Cole 2-0, 0.96 era Tuesday, 4.24, 5.10 p.m. Pacific Time, Shohei Otani 2-1, 3.60 versus Charlie Morton 3-0, 0.72 era Wednesday, 4.25, 11.10 p.m. Pacific Time, Nick Trapiano 2-1, 3.75 era versus Jarrett Justin Verlander 1 to 1 1.10 Erafat was one of the hottest starts to an Angels has hit the skids big time. The Angels faced a brutal sweep at the hands of the Red Sox in a deflating series loss to the struggling San Francisco Giants. Fortunately, the Angels had such a strong start that they're standing head to head with the Astros in the standings. All that can change by the end of this series, but will it be in the Angels' favor? The Angels are going to have to face three of the best pitchers in baseball right now to compete with the Astros, and given their offensive slump it might offer some concern. Jarrett Cole has proven to be the definition of ultra-reliable with at least 7 IP in each start. In just four starts HES struck out 41 batters, a club record, and in that span HES allowed only three a. Charlie Morton is just as hot as Jarrett Cole, putting up a nearly invisible era throughout 25 innings of work so far. Three of his starts have gone scoreless, but if anyone is going to dismantle that it may very well be the Angels' offense. Mike Trout leads the majors in homers and Shohei Otani has been creeping up the lineup all the way to his first cleanup spot this past Sunday against the SF Giants. Oh yeah, and Justin Verlander will be rounding out the series. Thank God the Angels have had career success against Verlander from his time with the Tigers. In 19 games started he holds an 8-8 record with a 3.36 era, which shows that the Angels' success will come from the foundation set by the man on the mound for the Halos. With Nick Trapiano starting the last game of the series against Justin Verlander things aren't looking as strong as one would hope. Every Angels pitcher is coming off a struggled start, especially Shohei Otani and his 3-2 IP performance against the Red Sox his last start out. Taylor Skaggs struggled just as much against the Red Sox, if not more, with 6 er allowed in 4.1 IP. Improvements will be needed from both the pitching and offense for a successful series against our division rival. What to look for? Mike Trout leads the majors in HRs with 9 to study. It's not out of the question to believe he can maintain this pace, if not heat up even more. In 2015 Trout hit 41 HRs and it very well looks like HES on that pace once again. Mike Trout holds 14 career HRs against the Astros, keep an eye out for the long ball this series. Keenan Middleton may not hold the closer job by title, but he does hold it by duty. Middleton has appeared in 11 games, finishing 8 of those, with 5 total saves and 0 losses on the so far. Easily one of the more underrated relievers in the majors. Look for Middleton to shed his underrated status with effective outings against the Astros. The Angels are going to need to get hot this series. The Angels will be rolling into Yankee territory after this, and that is absolutely the last team we need to see the Angels turn to dust in front of.